Calera community is on edge this evening. A man was beaten while he was jogging in his neighborhood. I would assume for Maya Shea joining us live is what police say about that attack. Her story, all new at 6. Maya? Well, police say they're hoping to catch the guys involved, but right now they just don't have a lot to go on. The victim, by the way, recovering from a cut lip, some bumps and scratches, but he appears to be okay. And it happened right here along busy Newcastle Street in the heart of Bel Air. Joggers and walkers along this stretch of Newcastle and Bel Air are common sights. Crime alerts, a rarity. I've always felt pretty safe. I do early in the morning a lot. And when I do early, I'm kind of cautious or I bring my dog with me. But. So when a nearby resident went on his daily jog last night at 10, the last thing he or anyone else expected was to get jumped by two men. Uh, he was suddenly surprised from behind, uh, basically attacked. Uh, taken down to the ground. Uh, as he turned, uh, he was assaulted while on the ground. Assistant Police Chief Michael Leal says the jogger fought back and the two men took off in a brown sedan without stealing anything. On a Saturday and then one in the evening on the Saturday, two different parts of Bel Air, uh, but the description is very similar. I've never felt endangered, no, no. The police patrol very well here. The victim suffered some cuts and bruises on his arm and a cut above his lip, but is otherwise all right. And in this tight-knit community, the news of the attack just sinking in. Honestly, I think that can happen to anyone. It doesn't matter like what neighborhood you're in. It can happen to anybody. So. And indeed, a lot of people are still jogging by or walking their dogs even this afternoon as the information and the news of exactly what happened began to spread. Now, if you have any information about who these individuals may be, or specifically a better description of the getaway car, which currently all they know is a brown-like sedan vehicle, you're urged to call the Bel Air Police Department. We're live in Bel Air. Maya Shea, 13 Eyewitness News.